Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And before we get this video started, hit that subscribe button and follow my socials. So we're gonna get right into the video. So today is going to be an unboxing of my iPhone 14 Pro in deep purple. So I actually got this today. It literally came a few hours ago. So today's September 16. My fiance actually got this for me as a birthday gift because my birthday is on October 3rd. So it's like in like two, three weeks and I turned 21. So he got me this as my birthday gift and he also got me the case and the screen protector okay so let's start so it has this arrow so i had it ordered because i really i asked him to order it because i didn't want to pick it up from the store because i know how hectic it is when you pick it up from the store and i think today's launch day so happy launch day i'm so scared <sighs> okay Apple unboxing is always my freaking favorite. <gasps> so I wanted the 256 gigabyte because I just felt like 160, wait, 128 was just not enough. Okay, so this is the iPhone 14 Pro in deep purple in 256 gigabytes. So we're just going to peel this arrow. It's so funny, I've, I've like when I worked at Apple, I would see people open their phones and they would not see like the, the green arrow. And I'm like, you just have to peel there, okay? And there's another green arrow on the bottom, so peel. And then, <gasps> okay, this deep purple is actually so freaking beautiful. Okay, it looks, it looks black in certain angles, but I promise it looks purple. Like, oh my gosh, I don't even want to touch it. But I already touched it. Okay, wait, I'm getting. Ooh. Okay, so. Um, and then it obviously comes with the cable. So the iPhone 13s, you could have the choice of doing both a physical SIM card and an eSIM. But with the 14s, it's just eSIM. Like, there is no SIM card. You can't do a SIM card. There's literally no slot. Like the SIM card slot, like is not existent now. Okay. Oh my gosh, I literally don't even want to wear this ring. Hold on. Okay, I just took off my ring. So I don't want to scratch it. My favorite. Oh, maybe I should have taken it off. Hold on. Oh my God, it does not have, oh my God, you can see real quick. It does not have that notch, you see that? Yeah. Okay. Okay, so I'm just, wait, should I put on the screen protector first or the case? don't know okay so let me open up my amazon stuff so i'm gonna just tear this and then i got he got me so i wanted the cloud case again because i feel like mm, i haven't seen a cloud case on anyone else's phone and i just want it to be different or whatever so i got my normal cloud case from amazon look how beautiful that is and i feel like with the deep purple it just looks so freaking amazing i'm gonna put the screen protector ah i i really wish i didn't i really wish i didn't take the thing off of that because i want to just put the screen protector on automatically because that's how i do it and then he got me the true glass so the thing with the screen protectors this time was that it was a bit difficult to choose because there were some screen protectors that would cover the camera and cover that like little notch let's just so it comes with a bunch of stuff. Oh, it comes with the thing to go over the cameras, but I'm not gonna use that. Okay, I'm going to put on my screen protector and then I'll be right back. So I have a whole like situation happening here. So I'm gonna try to do it as like best as I can, but oh, I hate, I hate putting on screen protectors. And honestly, I would go to the Apple store and like buy the ones where they put in with the machines because I used to do it for customers and it was the best thing. I did it for my dad's phone. I did it for my fiance's phone. And it was just like the best freaking thing. I hate. Okay. Let me, just in case I touch them, I'm going to use a wet wipe. And then I'm going to clean it with this thing. Make sure there's no smudging. So this one comes with two screen protectors. I'm praying to God that I don't mess up the first one. I hate, I hate when that happens. So I use this thing as its own like dust removal because it honestly does remove the dust. 
And then it comes with like a dust removal sticker thing, so I'm just gonna use that too. Okay, I'm gonna have this flat. Like this part is the sticky part. Wait! Why is it black around the edges? I'm getting anxiety. What the heck? I think it has like black edging, which I don't like. So I decided that I'm just going to reorder a screen protector because that one has like black rimmings around that and I don't like that at all. So that's a fail. So I'm just going to put on my case for now. My case and then... Okay. The way I hate putting on cases because it goes so like tight and I'm like, is it okay? So I couldn't put on my screen protector. Of course, everything always just... Anyways, but look how freaking pretty. Like, um, yeah, like it looks... Trust me, when you see it in person, it doesn't look black, but it definitely looks purple. You just kind of see it in person. But, um, oh, I'm so happy. So yeah, that was my unboxing of my phone my iPhone 14 Pro in deep purple and of my case, which I think just looks so pretty with it. So like, if you can see it, there's like the camera and then there's like the notch. I think that's like the dynamic island thing. So it's just like flat and I find it so pretty. Yeah, so I had the iPhone, like right now I'm filming on my iPhone 12 in purple and now I have the iPhone 14 Pro in deep purple. This video is so all over the place, but it's okay. Um, I literally just called my fiance like literally just now. And I was like, I call him fish. Anyways, I was like fish. I was like, I don't like this green protector. There's like black rimmings. And then he's like, you know, that just goes on the part of your phone where it's like, like the bezel, I think he said, I don't remember. But like the black edges where like, cause like, like those black, that black rimming where like you, you, like it doesn't matter area. And I looked and I was like, oh, Oh my god, I already wasted one. Holy, oh my god. Okay, so I'm gonna put on my screen protector and just off camera because it's giving me so much anxiety. So now I have to do it freaking perfect. So yeah, just wanted to let you, just wanted to give you an update. Okay, so I literally just went through so much anxiety trying to put my screen protector on and I freaking did it. Like it looks so good. Like it's almost in the middle. So yay. Okay, now after all the stress of putting on the case, putting on the screen protector and all that, I put on the screen protector, I put on the case. So the only thing with the screen protector that I have to test out because I might buy another one is because of the whole dynamic island, I had such trouble and he, my fiance also has such trouble finding a screen protector with the camera cut out. But because of dynamic island, I think they stopped because like that part's like sensitive or something like that. So it might mess with that. But if I notice that the screen protector is affecting the front camera way too much to the point where it's like it's noticeable like i'm gonna literally compare with this phone with my iphone 12 that i have right now and if the front camera is like a little bit worse than what i have right now i'm gonna literally gonna buy another screen protector with the cutout i'm just gonna tell you guys a little bit about the differences it's because apple releases a new phone every year they can't really make that big of a change which is why i miss it when they would release a new phone every two years instead of one year i miss it when they would do every two years but whatever so it's the a16 chip a16 chip you know the iphone 13 is a15 they're always gonna do something with the chip do we notice anything do i notice anything no do people who are really into tech and this stuff notice it maybe um the main difference is obviously the dynamic island um it's like the little like pill shaped thing it's supposed to be convenient and like if you're texting someone and you get like a notification or you wanted to change the music, it just shows up on that spot. That way it's not taking up the entire screen, something like that. So yeah, so the dyna so the A16 chip, the dynamic island, my fiance just told me to tell y'all something was, what was it? It was something megapixel, 48, 46? He said, oh, the camera? He said something is 48 or 46 megapixel. Don't know what that means, but okay. They change stuff to the camera, but they always change stuff to the camera. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to really notice it. But with the iPhone 12, I know that there's gonna be a huge difference. So I'm really excited for that. And another main thing that they changed was the brightness. So apparently 
with this new phone when you're outside and it's like super like bright outside with the sun and everything your phone is supposed to be really really bright like they like upped the brightness level on the new phone which i'm really happy about off the bat because i only had the iphone 12 and then i got the iphone 14 pro there's obviously big difference of like the three cameras i i've always like ever since they came out with the 13 i hate that there's like a bump I've always loved like I've always loved it when my phone be like flat. So that's the only thing that I know I'm gonna get used to because it's like once you start using it, you just it's a habit, you know. The fact that there's no physical SIM card like port is like it honestly is mind blowing to me. But now I have to call T-Mobile and <laughs> tell them to activate my phone, which I'm like, why? Why? That's so much work when I could just take the SIM card from my phone, put it in here, and call it a day. But no, I have to call the carrier and be like, hey, can you activate my phone, please? So yeah, I have to call them because there is literally no physical SIM card port. Yeah, um, I love the deep purple. I honestly think it's freaking stunning. Like I actually love the deep purple so much. Wait, should we do it? Hold on. Okay, hold on. Hold on. I'm gonna press the button. Okay, let's see. Let's see what it looks like. I haven't done one of these in such. Ugh, okay. Love. Hello. Ooh. Swipe up. Okay. Okay. That's it. Okay, just a quick update. I I turned on my phone. I activated my phone. And you know how I was, I'm going to put that clip in where I was complaining about, oh, now I have to call my carrier and so much work, blah, blah, blah. You know how I was complaining about that? Apple thinks of everything. They freaking think of everything. This eSIM stuff, I wish you guys saw my reaction because when I was like turning on my phone and like putting everything in and whatever, there's, when you get to the eSIM part, you just press a button that says transfer like your phone number from this phone to your new phone. Done. You don't need to contact a carrier. You don't need to take out your SIM card and input it into the new phone. No, no. You just press a button. A freaking button that transfers your phone number to the new phone. When I tell you guys, I was shocked. And boom! My phone is activated. Okay, um, so far I'm freaking loving my phone. And I call my fiance again. It's a 48 megapixel camera, which means that like the details are even finer and the camera's like bigger or something. He's more into tech than I am. But yeah, yay! And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye guys.